What's that? Oh, you thought this was an 80s infomercial for Aquanet. <laughs> oh, it's not. It's a bins haul. Hey guys, what's up? My name's Hope. I'm a full-time nurse and a part-time reseller. I save lives, I save clothes, I save all the things. Thumbs up for that. And if you give me a thumbs down, I might be your nurse someday. Just remember that. Because I know there's a few of you who just love that thumbs down button. So I went to the bins. Well, I've been to the bins three times, actually. I went to the bench two weeks before I left to go see Lori, so six weeks ago. <laughs> so this is going to be a surprise to me, too, because I have no idea what's in these bags. I remember Lululemon joggers because they were my size, but everything has been in these three bags this entire time because that's how together I am. Who's here for it? Raise your hand if you're here for it. <laughs> Okay, so we won't waste any time. We're just going to jump right into the bins haul. I'm filming uh, like a loony tonight. I know I have keep talking about I'm going to put up a what sold video and talk about my sales. But listen, anyone who does it knows that the editing paired with ADHD is just next level hard for me. Okay. You feel me? Are you with me? Do you understand? <laughs> um, but I, I am going to do them. I just need to do it when I, like, weekly, so that I do it weekly, whether it's this many sales or this many sales. Because by the time I do it, I think about doing it, it's like 40-something things have sold, and I'm just like, oh my gosh, it's too many. It's too many. <laughs> too many screenshots. Too much math. <sighs> just can't. I'm here to have fun, okay? Okay? Aren't you? Okay. So. Oh, dear God. It's heavy. It's so heavy. I'm gonna edit out that loud crinkling sound. So, where should I put you? Right here. I'll be like reaching into the magic bag. What was that show? Where they reached into the magic bag? Not Puff the Magic Dragon was something and that guy wore that wizard hat oh my gosh that is going to drive me crazy but it was a show in my childhood I feel like anywho we're gonna get into it I'm excited to see what I got you guys want to know the real reason I'm filming this bin salt right now tonight today's May 18th by the way I, I have two videos from my thrift trip with Lori gonna release those later. I'm looking for footage. I cannot find it. I think I wiped it and it makes me want to literally cry. A thousand tears. Cry me a river. Oh. Yeah. The reason I'm filming my bins hauls is because I gotta get this crap out of my bins bags. You know what I mean? I need to, I have four <laughs> and I need them because I want to go to the bins this week. Later on this week because of course I do. I want to see the bin pickers and that's the plan. Okay, so I'm excited. Okay. First things first on the real list is this Gap. I know, I wish it was something better than Gap, <laughs> but it's not, okay? Uh, it's Gap Outdoor Edition Winter Warmth. This is such a cute puffer vest. It's so shiny on the inside and not on the out. Is it reversible? No, no, it's not. It's so cute though. Shiny on the inside, not on the outside. Has this fun hat, it's detachable. Yeah, extra small. I'll probably get 25 bucks for it. At least that's always the goal. When I go to the bins, I strive to be able to spend a dollar and make 20. <laughs> oh, this is just tech gear. This is for myself. I just love a good, this is a really lightweight gray pullover. That's just for myself. It's an extra large. I got it because it's loose and flowy. Okay, this is RJC, made in Hawaii, USA, size 10. This is so cute. 
Look at that. I think it's a boy's. A boy size 10. Look at the Hawaiian print. I'm definitely going to list that like tomorrow. That's another reason I needed to get this done because I don't even remember the things I picked up and it's been sitting in this bag for forever. Oh, this is Under Armour. Pretty sure it's women. It's, um, or a kid. Might be men's. It's an Under Armour, one of those. What's the word? That you wear, you wear it underneath. Compression. It's a compression garment. Under Armour. I don't know the size because it's not in here. But these these do well, like twenty dollars. So there's literally no size. Oh my gosh, why me? Why oh why? Uh, I got these Banana Republic eight inch shorts. They're men's short season. See, I knew I needed. They're a men's size thirty three. I need to get the get those listed ASAP. My gosh, there's lots of shorts in here. <laughs> these are J Crew. Black label, cursive writing, so new. Uh, 34, 9 inch inseam. Men's chambray. Little shorts. Gosh, I'm so glad I looked in this. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> this is all summer stuff that I could be dealing with right now. That phone. Let me put it on a silent mode. Thanks everyone who, ha I just wanted to take a quick moment and say thanks to everyone who has been tuning in to the Sunday Sip. I really feel like we're, we've got like a little community going on and so much activity in the chat amongst you guys and like just the back and forth conversation. I'm really, really enjoying it. Tata's coming on Sunday, uh, this Sunday. So that's at 9 p.m. So tune in for that. And we're putting up, we're going to do a Q&A where she asks me questions, I ask her questions. But it's, we don't know, so it'll kind of like be on the spot and fun. So, details are, will be posted on our Instagram. This is Ophelia Rowe. It's new with tag. It's a wrap. Just a wrap dress. It's burgundy and gold. Knee length wrap dress. Cotton. New with tag. You don't say no to that at the bin. And it's a size small. Retails for $40, so hoping for $20.25. Oh, this, I love this skirt. I'm sure it's J. Crew. J. Crew number two pencil skirt. These skirts do really well. This is wool. This is beautiful and green. Lined pencil skirt, size zero. This is going to do so well at Christmas time. I know it's a while away, but <laughs> it's coming. This, oh, it's so fuzzy and fun. What is this? This is TCEC. Sorry, I haven't been showing labels, but I feel like you guys know J. Crew <laughs> and Banana Republic. So TCEC, never heard of it, but anything shaggy and oversized with these fantastic huge balloon sleeves it's like it's that shaggy mohair yeah this is like tunic length size medium large anything like that I will always pick it up I literally have no memory of any of this stuff are these little lemon oh no these are the north face North Face Women's size small. You say North Face right there. They are a cropped, like below the knee, little legging or yoga pant or outdoor under layer, base layer. <laughs> so I'm gonna get those on. This is Hannah XL. I'm sure I got it because it's crushed velvet. And because it's really bohemian. 
green crushed velvet and then it has the cotton ready and like the back does the same thing very flowy tunic top it's an extra large so good size that lighting I don't even have my ring light on except for on like barely there um yeah it, I pick up any boutique brands because here's a fun fact I can usually sell <laughs> boutique brands. I price them at like 25 bucks, sometimes 28 and I can usually sell them just based on keywords and pictures. Even if it's not like a hot, like a sought after brand, I feel like if I like give it all the f fluff and the, you know, the real descriptive keywords, I think it helps me sell the stuff that's not like a sought after brand. Which again, is why I should do what sold because I, I sell things based on style probably 50% of the time okay this is lucky brand size large it's a snap pearl snap yeah pearl snap flannel I believe it's men's but oh, anybody could wear it oh these are aloe Hello Yoga. What are these? Um, Allo Yoga. Here's the Allo symbol. Right there. Size so small. These are cropped. An older style for sure. They have the drawstring there for cinching. They're like a gaucho yoga pant. I am losing the bag. Okay, what are you? This is Reebok. Size large. So it's women's Reebok. A little like rain jacket. Aniron Anirondack jacket. Anorak jacket. I know Anirondack's a chair. But I always confuse the two words and it like drawstrings and the inside to like cinch, cinch the waist. Yeah. Mesh lining. Nice. I mean this stuff weighs nothing. I don't know if my receipt is in the bag, in one of these bags, but I'm pretty sure I got like 80 pounds this day, which was under $100. 80 pounds times a dollar. It's a dollar twenty-nine per pound at my Goodwill outlet here in Indianapolis. Is there a caution to the wind? So cute. These pinstriped drawstring cuffed joggers. They're gray and white pinstripe pockets. Gosh, they're so cute. They don't have a size, but I can guarantee they're a small. It's almost like a seersucker. pinstripe. Okay. Next, bathing suit. Yay. Oh, this is Loft Beach, size 4. This is cute. So, that's the front. Look at that. Tie, it's got padded cups. It's a one piece. Vertical stripes to make you look skilly. It looks like a tie cut. So, a little cheeky. Size four. What is up with me getting all these jackets? This is Nike, size large. Oh, this is a, okay, this is a vented Nike jacket. Color block. Yeah, it's vented. So, I need, should get that on. Tis the season of golfing. Extra large Nike. Good grief. <laughs> I wish <laughs> it's long sleeve. Big, huge Nike swoosh, and it's a women's shirt. Um, did I say it was size large? It is. Must have been filling the sportswear. Oh, these are Calvin Klein pants, but those are mine. So I must have taken off my pants and put them in the bag. 
at some point down here. I don't know, guys. All right, one bag in. See how fast we're going? This is a bathing suit top. Cute. Ava and Viv. Ava and Viv, which is Target, 16W. It's leopard print. And it's got the, the cups and underwire. This is cute. I'm going to pull out all the summer stuff. Like, I have everything from my other hauls I filmed already on my rack. Steamed, prepped, ready to be pictured, photoed, photographed. And, um... Uh, yeah, uh, I'm glad I'm doing these hauls so I can pull out the stuff that's summer to get them on quick. This is Cacique, size 26, 28. If the bin pickers would have been there this day, I definitely would have gave them this little sexy number here. But they weren't there, so it's like a corset, corset, corset. Cacique, very Christmas, Valentine's, you know, spice up your life. Little number, laces up in the back. This should do good. Cacique's a pretty good brand. Okay, sweaters. Of course they're sweaters. Sweaters are like my favorite thing. This seems like a giant poncho. This is, what is this, probably like Steve Madden or... I don't see a brand. I don't see a brand, nor do I see how it goes. Oh, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Well, I don't see a brand, but it goes like this. So it's like a cape, and then it has a belt. And belt loops, and it like wraps. It's like a scarf wrap shawl plaid. Love that. I do super good with those things. I list them for like $35, no matter what the brand, and they... They tend to move, um, but not around this time. Well, who knows? You never know. It's cold somewhere, right? Alaska. All in motion, size large. I don't know where all in mo motion is sold, but I thought about myself when I found these. Although, you guys, I'm, oh, I feel like I could wear a medium. This shirt is a small. I mean, it used to fit me when I was really a small, but like... I haven't worn this shirt in a long time. <laughs> um, so, that's exciting. What are these little booties? These are size eight and a half. Some red boots here. Torrid. Torrid red little cowboy ankle boots. Almond toe. I forgot all about these. <laughs> so, eight and a half Torrid. I don't know if they have like a wide calf or... Eight and a half wide. Okay. Ex officio, size so four in women's. These are those pants that you wear on a, a hike, and if you get hot, you unzip them and they turn into shorts. And they also have zipper all the way up this part, too. So these are like wear a million ways. Um, it's the season of hikes and such, so those should, you know, definitely bring me $20. Lands in extra small. I got it, obviously, because of the print. Do you see the print? It's a, like that snow leopard print. It's a cotton little tank dress. Probably right above the knee. So, really cute. This is Old Navy, size medium. I don't know why I got this. I mean, honestly, I probably I won't even list this. I feel like this was an accident. I'll pick up Old Navy sometimes, depends, but I, would, I, I don't think I would pick up this skirt. That could have been a kid moment. <laughs> My kids are always in the moment. Um, Norma Kamali. I know I've heard of this brand, Norma Kamali. 100% organic cotton, small, it's got music notes all over it, little v-neck tank, kind of longer in length, Norma Kamali, I don't know, gives me Becky Park vibes since she's a music teacher, I feel like Norma Kamali is a good brand, tell me in the comments, 
Hope, do your own research. Hey, aren't we friends here? <laughs> Falls Creek Extra Large. This is either Falls Creek, Walmart, Kohl's. It's new with tag, so let me tell you. Meyer. This is sold at Mar Meyer. But it's a very, like, pale, pale pink, gauzy, sheer, ruffle peasant blouse. New with tag. It is so cute. So, $18. The price tag says 20 something. So, okay, this is French laundry, size XL. This is a cute little plaid floral. Little wrap top. These peasant sleeves. And the tie wrap detail in the front. It's an extra large. So that's really adorable. I'm trying to think of other words besides cute. Okay, this. This is Forever 21. Now hear me out. Don't judge me for picking this up. It's gingham. It buttons in the all the way down in the front. So V-neck, buttons all the way down. I don't, there's no time to do it for the video. Mini dress, and then it has the belt. Button front, gingham plaid, V-neck, mini dress with Doc Martens. This is so in. So I will list it for like 18 and I'll sell it for 10 or 12 and I paid a buck. It's really cute, and I can imagine someone wearing it with Doc Martens and big star earrings. I think star. Plus, it's a great bundle. It's a great bundle item. US 4 American Eagle. These are the high, uh, Kirby Super High Rise Jagging in a size 4. So, Kirby Black Super High Rise Jagging, and they look brand spanking new. 25 bucks. Easy. Why are you picking up scarves when it's summer? <laughs> Mossy Mo hand knit sandalwood target hand knit. It's um 100% acrylic, a big chunky one of those hand knitted little infinity scarves. It's new a tag. I won't list it right now, but winter is coming. Ooh, that reminds me of Game of Thrones. <laughs> this is Jansen. Jansen, tumble spun, sportswear for sportsmen. Size large, made in USA. This is a Jansen sweater. It's like in this great mustardy gold. Jansen is, I think, pretty good vintage. So, I think a girl should wear it because it'll look so cute with leggings and boots with fur. If you had boots with fur, you know, apple bottom jeans and the boots with fur, those kind. That, with some little tight slick leggings, ooh, like the slicks, or just a black legging, and that sweater. So cute. What are you? This is a dress. Taylor Woman, 18W. Oh, this is a cute little plus size dress. It's blue, short sleeve, it's for summer, it has pockets. It's lined, it has like this mesh lining and then the slip under it, it's just 18. Really cute for summer, I need to get that listed. Oh, I feel something in the pocket. Hold please. My gosh, I wish it was a check. Wouldn't that be amazing? Oh, it's a note. Christ the Savior Lutheran Church. That's all it says. Um, 
I picked this up because it's 100% camel hair. Oh, and it's Brooks Brothers. <laughs> Those were the two reasons. Brooks Brothers, 100% camel hair, like micro plaid. I'm getting come in close. See all that plaid? This would look, it's got shoulder pads, but this is, I think this could be um, worn as an oversized blazer on a girl as well, a woman. It's got pockets, three buttons, right? Three or four. It's a three button camel hair, beautiful fall colors. So we'll see, it's Brooks Brothers camel hair. It's the bins. What is going on with my camera? <laughs> All right, one more thing here and then we're moving on to the last bag. This is velvet, so velvet. Graham and Spencer, this is blue. Above the knee, little cotton wrap. Well, it's not a wrap, but it ties around the waist dress. Perfect for summer, super lightweight. Bag two, out of the way. This is a Victoria's Secret little tote shopper bag. You can carry it on by the handles or by the strap. I get these at the bins because they're basically free. <laughs> and then if someone orders like a Victoria's Secret bundle, like with like some pink stuff or whatever, I will wrap it up and put it in there and send it off like that. I just did that the other day with some other little toe I just picked up. This is Workshop Republic Clothing XL. This might have been a me sweater. This is the label. I've never heard of it, but the label looks nice. The sweater feels amazing. It's a little mock neck marled knit. Oversized sweater. It's poly acrylic and spandex, so not the not the greatest materials, but super soft. Okay. These are Uggs. Give me two seconds to find the other one. Hmm. Where are you? I found it. These are Ugg slippers. Gosh, I love these. They just need me to brush them a bit. They're a US 8. Oh, I love them so much. I don't know if I want to sell them. I'm a seven and a half, but okay, they're cable knit. They've got the shearling all around. The shearling inside. Dear Lord, they are beautiful. They like look so good. I love them. Hard sole. Perfect to go to the mailbox in. Has the UGG label here. They just need brushed, you know, like the Shirley needs brushed. I mean, yeah, it just needs brushed. I love these. I could sell them for $50 though. So do I really need to keep them? <laughs> this is a beautiful, beautiful vintage coach bag. Still has the, oh, it's one of those, gosh, the leather on this bad boy. I don't know if this is made in the USA or made, let me see. Gosh, it's old. Tag on it, hold on. I can't see anything because my hair is so large. Oh, that's not an American flag tag. That's a stamp. <laughs> oh, you guys, you can't make it up. I can't, I can't see. If I could see, I could tell ya. Coach, I don't know. Honestly, I can't see it. Regardless, it's the most buttery leather. It's a crossbody. It's, it has a beautiful patina on it. Like, you know, someone really loved it, but I think they also took pretty good care of it. So it's like a saddle, little crossbody. How's the little thing here? It's a, it's brown got red tones though for sure it's gorgeous so I'm hoping I could get like $75 for this is that overshooting it undershooting it what do you think I'm not a vintage coast 
vintage coach connoisseur. So, I don't know. It's in really good shape though, so I'm hoping. This is the loft size large, but good grief. How cute is this dress? Full length maxi. Super vivid, beautiful floral pattern. I can't, I know there'll be a cute stock photo on this. It's a large, the back has this split High neck. It's like a halter. Um, I could almost guarantee it's linen or a linen cotton blend. 60% linen, 40% rayon. So guess who needs to list this tomorrow? Me! That'd be perfect for Hawaii vacation. I love this shirt. Active USA, so that's probably just a boutique, but who cares when it is this cute? This little gingham ruffle off the shoulder, cropped, bell sleeve. My gosh, it's for the girl going to the picnic in her little white Daisy Dukes. Can you see her? I can. It is darling. Did I tell you it was a size medium? Because it is. So cute. What is this? Oh, my kid found me this. I think this is Brighton. Yes, how cute is this? A little snake skin, shiny, Brighton. My kid came up and was like, is this good? I go, yes, honey, put that in the car. <laughs> Has this little envelope thing here for, you know, whatever. It goes way deep. Oh, it goes, oh, it goes the whole length of the purse. And then it also, opens up here with a zipper and then another one and then it has a zipper on the back and it's a crossbody. How cute is this? So cute and it's like new. Good job Braylon. Mommy's little bin helper. I totally forgot about, well I basically forgot about all of it. Oh I got myself this hat. I think this is, yeah, gam, gam. It's like a, it's netted through here. And it has the little emblem there. I got it. I can't put it on this big hair, but I got it. It's brand new. I got it for the summer. You know, when I'm out there in the backyard <laughs> with my hair in a ponytail. I need it. I needed a good hat. And black will attract the sun, which that will then tan my arms. <laughs> this is a new approach. And of Anna. A new approach. A and A. Size large. It's new with tags. That's why I got it. It's Kohl's. Well, I got it because it's new with tags and it's because it's precious. Just like Mackenzie says things are, it's precious. It's showing up like really red, but it's really not. It's like a muted, molly brownish looking it, color. It's gauzy. has button sleeves. There's a button down. So just a blouse. Yeah. Super low v-neck. Like that v-neck is down there. We call that plunging. It's got a plunging neckline. New tag though. We're not mad about it, okay? We are not. What is this? Style & Co. Curvy Skinny Leg. I got that because I think they're plus. Are they plus? Might not be. No, they're an eight. <laughs> they might fit me. Okay. Kirby, skinny, jean, style & Co. That's just uh, um, from Nordstrom, Macy's, one of those. This is Athleta. I have this exact hoodie in my death pile. And now I have two. And that is fine with me. So just Athleta, zip up, hoodie. And it has like a cinched like, pockets here and like a cinched waist. Is it drawstring? It's fitted at the waist. This is a size medium. Yeah, it's in great condition. You see how it kind of does that at the bottom? It's like more fitted. Okay. 
Oh, these are Lululemon joggers, you guys. I'm so torn. So there's the Lululemon logo. Oh, I want them so bad. I, I have been wanting to buy the joggers from Lululemon. But doing what I do, I... I just I'm like no I'll find them I'll find myself some and sure enough I'd rather have them in black but I found these joggers they're a size 10 they're a little big so maybe I should sell them I know the joggers do well so I'm gonna sell them they're in really good shape a little bit of pilling but not much look at these little Lady Lynn, size medium, vintage, night shorts. Aren't these cute? I don't, I don't feel like they're panties. I feel like they're like a, you know, a little cute little nighty short, pajama short. Maybe someone has worn those as panties. Gross. But they're vintage and cute. Very pin up -y is the word. Oh, I like this sweater. Uh, this sweater is literally the cutest. <laughs> Gray, open cardigan with these amazing red, white, and blue and black cuffs. It's Target. Wild Fable. But you know what? I'm going to list it still and I'll probably get 25 bucks, as I usually do. That light is so bad and I'm so sorry. I don't know why it keeps brightening up. Oh, I got this. This is called Curvy Kitten, SwapDesigns.com. So Curvy Kitten, I believe it's a plus size line, but it's like very mod with these rainbows. I need to get on the website and, and do research, but see this mod rainbow retro floral thing here? That it's kind of got a sweetheart neckline. It cinches at the waist. Like on, under the the bust. It's got darting. And then it has buttons down the back. I feel like this will probably do pretty good. I've just got to do 98% cotton. Made in India. Curvy Kitten. Cute. I'm excited to look it up. It might be nothing, but then again, it might be everything. This is the North Face, a woman's size small. This is really cute. So it's got the nylon material up here with the hood, and then the rest of it is a sweater material. And it's ribbed at the bottom, has the kangaroo pocket. So it's like a hoodie jacket. And then the inside is all fleece. I'm excited. I will pick that up at the bins anytime. This is Ideology, it's new with tag, just a workout brand. Size large. Oh, this is a dress. Like a, what are you, I think it was like a tennis dress or something. It's gray, like a marled space dye, actually, with pink. I don't know if you could see the pink. Probably not. It's got pockets. It's banded at the bottom. It's a athleisure dress. So... Running errands or relaxing at home. These pieces are made to wear on repeat. Yeah, that seems very cozy. Maybe I might try that. This bra is really cute. This is Kasik again. It's a Kasik 1820 bralette. It's gray. Oh dear lord, these lights. Gray, and it has this pink heart at the bottom. I almost fell forward. So great size, cute style. Here's another ideology. Size large. Oh, these are pants, cropped. Little workout pants. So maybe someone who 
like that brand. We'll come and bundle those. This are, are these gel boobs that you put on when you don't want to wear a bra, which is me every day, but I wouldn't want to wear these either. Tide Tell is the brand. I just basically got these for my kid for when she needs them. Does that make sense? I hope so. All right. Christmas sweaters. If I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times. I will always pick up graphic funny Christmas sweaters at the bins or even at Goodwill for if they're half off, like two fifty, three dollars $3 because I always sell them starting in October. I start listing them and $25, $30 each every single time it's Christmas. I've sold them. These are Under Armour Youth Large Heat Gear. So compression heat, heat gear at the waist here and then it has the Under Armour at the bottom. Oh, here's that. Here's a string tie for that loft dress for the waist. This is for the Republic. Gray, little marl knit top with these bell sleeves. I'm a sucker for those bell sleeves. <laughs> oh, and here's another one of those Hannah's. Exact same shirt that I showed you earlier, except this is in burgundy. Tunic length, crushed velvet, short sleeve, flowy, bohemian. All the things. And the last. Yes, last. <laughs> is this for Cynthia, size large. Oh, it's beautiful. Was it broken? Oh, this wasn't broken when I bought it. Oh, it just come undone. So I just will shove that back in there with some fabric glue. Okay, look how pretty this embroidery is. It's embroidered, bedazzled. Um, looks like, what are they? Just flowers, feathers. It's this dress. I'm pretty sure it's 100% linen. It's very lagging looking. Has this pleating across there and like this little ruffle. It's midi length, I believe. I'm almost positive it's linen. Let me just check. I cannot believe there's no fabric tags here. I know it's linen. Oh, here we go. 55% linen, 45% viscose. So I've never heard of four Cynthia. F-O-R Cynthia. But the quality of the dress feels pretty nice. So it sparked my interest. And if I think I can get 20, 25 bucks for it, by golly, I'm going to grab it. So that's it for my Ben's haul. I think we did that pretty fast, right? Only 50 minutes, 47 minutes. So that is all. Thank you guys so much for watching. I promise that I'll do a what sold video once I'm through all these hauls. <laughs> um, and let me know if there's anything else you guys want, want to see from me. Or if you're just happy with hauls. I'm happy if you're happy. Because <laughs> we all know that's my favorite thing to do. Um, so yes, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you tune into the Sunday Sip this Sunday and every Sunday at 9 p.m. Um, we got a lot of fun people lined up. So, and go ask me questions over on Instagram. I'll leave, well, my Instagram is linked in my, what's that called? You know, linked in my link tree in the description box. Also, if you haven't checked out all my reseller merch, be sure to go do so. I'm sure you'll find a cute shirt that's thrifting related that you'll love. And I appreciate it so much. All right, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.